we are going to talk on digital transformation I will hello everybody we are going to talk on digital transformation I will need to share I going to share what I have seen for the last uh, 20 years or last 15 years of the transition I have worked with a traditional company for many many years after that moved and built this uh, digital consulting firm so I saw there are three uh, the India entire ecosystem look like a triangle the top part is the digital reach there are digital reach in the sense uh, what I mean by digital reach is not in terms of money or in terms of the understanding knowledge and uh, you know the way they manage the much more mature way of managing and handling digital the second part is digital poor other people when I say poor also not in terms of money but or budget it is in terms of the management understanding the how you treat digital and the last level is the bottom of the pyramid which is the ignorant people they are they don't understand digital they are very very traditional minded the mindset is very very not digital so their way of understanding managing they think they are doing digital but they absolutely have no idea how digital marketing works so what i saw in, in, in different reports i saw only 3 to 4% of the organization in india uh, surveyed by uh, one of the largest uh, consulting firm it says they are actually they have a dedicated digital team what i mean by digital team dedication is not by a person who run do you know who runs everything by himself they have a proper content person they have a pro proper uh, design person they either they have evolved uh, within the team or they have outsourced they outsource it to a professional people who manage content design user experience tools analytics data uh, web uh, and so on and so forth so these are these are the team you need to build a digital because most of the people i see around uh, across more than 55 60 brands we industries we have audited and we see we don't see there are not much of people who understand and there's no more there's no structural formation or structural thing present in the in the indian ecosystem so what i another saw thing i saw i observed in all these years is the majority of indian business are not digitally evolved because most of the digital ecosystem uh, stakeholder they are around 35 to 40 or 45 year old the ceos and the cxo they are absolutely traditional they are not digital so their mindset is very very uh, traditional so they have not evolved they don't know how to do it so in this uh, video i'm going to talk on the basic challenges what i see here across the ecosystem why indian companies are struggling to become a digital transformation company and what are the ways you can con uh, convert your company, traditional company, into digital. So before that, uh, Deloitte uh, came out with a report that says only 10% of the organization have considered they have a digital leader. Most 90% don't have a digital leader. Digital leader, we also did a report uh, recently on the, uh, the professional website where people upload their CV and assignment and their, you know, uh, you know whatever they have done so far in their career. Uh, we saw that 70% uh, are fake. People uh, fake. They, or they have a half baked knowledge or they are bloating up their information they are not sure what they are doing but they try to show on, on, on their CV that they are digitally arrived people. So digital divide is a huge is a huge impact happening in India because of the digital divide. So digital reach business are the one who have a proper digital team, who have allocated a digital budget, who have um, a, a digital head sitting or digital person sitting on the top. Uh, not a sales guy because I've seen many companies they have a sales guy who have no digital experience. They just by virtue of a, of a, of just you have to give someone a promotion, you have put a wrong person in the in the in the wrong seat. So digital business uh, are the one which who have all these things covered. Now I'm going to talk about the solution. So the study so shows that uh, ninety percent of the Indian business are digitally poor uh, or, or they are not digitally transparent or they are you know, they're not able to perform or optimize or make the best out of the team. So first thing uh, to see is whether you have a proper digital people managing your digital data, which I see across uh, this huge gap. Most of these digital, so-called digital people are, uh, they, are, they have a paper knowledge, they don't have a hands-on experience. They either come from mobile marketing and become a digital head, so their understanding of non-mobile ecosystem is poor. Many people have uh, gone up to a level uh, working as an ACO and then he become a digital head. So his way of looking at everything is from an ACO perspective 
uh, and not from the other uh, parameters. So these are the issues which I saw uh, while consulting so many brands. Second is uh, there's not much of execution manager, you know, people who can execute well. So most of them don't know how to execute well. Most of them are pseudo or so-called uh, fake digital people. Okay. So you need some kind of digital coach or you need a mentor or you need a guide or maybe a consultant who can help your team to understand and maneuver you across the digital journey to get your company transparent. Fourth is what I saw is, is the most important part, what I saw, the big challenge happened in a digital ecosystem is, you know, unlearning. Most people are not willing to learn, they are not willing to learn in, the, in terms of understanding, for who, what they knew, they are holding their past like anything and as a reason, they don't, since they don't learn, they don't execute new things because digital every six to seven months time or within within a year, everything keeps on changing, rule changes, process changes, discipline changes. So they are not well versed with all these changes as a reason. They keep on doing the same mistake again and again and henceforth resulting in a digital disaster. Fifth one, but what I saw is uh, the role and the KPI understanding. Most digital head don't understand, have no understanding of the KPI, the role of each uh, you know, each digital process, how will the content, how to con uh, make content more more valuable, what is a valuable content, How what are the content pillars, macro pillar, micro pillar, and then what are snackable content, how the funnel works, what is tofu, mufu, and bofu. They don't do persona. Buyer persona, 99% I've seen people don't do buyer persona. So they do random marketing. They are chance marketing. By fluke, they try to do something and get. So, so everybody thinks that digital is like like a magic. I will try something and something will work. It's like you have a uh, you have a phone. So you are taking one thousand shots. Obviously, one or two shots will click, will look good. So this is what I see happening across the ecosystem. The sixth one is the training from the top management, and there's a there's a huge dark of digital culture. So digital culture is not so that the top guy is not driving the culture. They talk digital, but they don't execute digital. They don't allow people to work. So either he is not investing on people, either he is not investing on the process, he is not investing on the infrastructure. Many a time I've seen very large company have their age old, you know, uh, uh, processors and, and computers which are obsolete now. They don't upgrade their even laptop which is like 10 years old. So these are issues. They don't have a, you know, hard drive. They don't have a, a, a system where they can share data, put data. So these are a lot of, see, see, even if they're very large company, but these are the roadblocks. Seventh is half knowledge uh, is a major roadblock. So most people have a very half knowledge. They try to learn digital watching reels. Now watching reels is good, nothing wrong in it. But question is that you are learning everything in random. You don't know how to how to leave it in a proper manner, in a steady, you know, process manner. So you are randomly, you know, spraying and trying to try your luck. So this is a major block. Eighth one is a traditional approach is a digital clear killer. So what I mean by that digital uh, traditional approach is that they, they don't know how to execute digital. They try to use their traditional brain and traditional understanding and try to push it, uh, their digital execution through them. So I still know companies who are digitally, uh, you know, a rich company or, or semi-rich company. They're still, they don't do inbound. They're only into telecalling. They're only looking for teaching. They don't make content for, uh, to get uh, customers. They don't use website to get their work. They, do, they only make videos uh, to get their content seen, but they don't use videos and YouTube to get new customers. So customer acquisition are still happening in a non-digital and a traditional format. I don't see much company who do purely on digital platforms. The tenth is uh, hire a new domain expert. So I see the domain experts are rare because I've been teaching across uh, more than 50 to 60 colleges across India. India uh, digital is not taught at a very early stage, so digital understanding and knowledge is very is not uh, advanced or not. So people adopt. See, adoption of digital happens in a very late stage of the career. So when you look for a job, you try to do some Google ads or you try to learn something on Facebook. You are not learning Google and Facebook or content marketing at a very early stage. So when you just for getting a job, you need a certificate. Just for getting your, you know, try to you know look for a job, so you need to show up something some skills so you are trying to learn something very rapidly so that makes you a half digital marketer very dangerous so you need to have a domain expert who will able to do it the last one is a big lie happens on the cv 
because across uh, LinkedIn, across across many CVs I have seen all these industries. We have come up with a report. I'm going to sh I'm going to share very soon. It's going to be up uh, hopefully in the next week. You will find a lot of people are telling lies. They don't know anything. They are trying to show cut paste copy of other people's profile and testing them and showing that they're digital expert. And the HR also don't know how to hire a digital person because they have a limited set of questions which they ask and try to evaluate. That creates a huge misunderstanding. So they expect or they assume they have hired a digital guy, but the digital guy have only thrown some job jargons or, or words jargon to impress the HR guy and he get the job and he start making disaster. And after within a two months or three months time, a company understands that his understanding of digital is absolutely zero. So these are the basic uh, things to look out before you get into digital transformation. So correct knowledge, correct people, correct process and for correct technology. These are the four picks I see will help you transform digital. Thank you.